On this episode of Vindex Engineering, we are going to be changing out the stock plain headlights for new DT Moto Halo style headlights. So what you'll notice here is this is a 2003 Chevy Avalanche. This is the full body platted version. It's got the plastic bumper, plastic side molding. So if you're looking for the headlights for the model with the plastic, it is not the same as the one on the uh, non cladded version, which is the same as the Silverado. So just a note to remember when you order these exactly. So what GM has here is on this style, it has a little clip right here on the back side of the upper light. You pop that over and then it pops loose. And voila. So if you ever see an avalanche out there with the headlight popped out, chances are yeah, that probably got broke. You'll just twist your bulbs out, pull out your bulbs. So once you get that part out, then you can get down to your lower headlight. These actually have the little bars. Pull out the pin. One on each end. And then you've got your adjustment bar here, so you have to rock it out. You probably clip your bulbs out. And voila. Factory headlights are out. Now we get to figure out how to put in the new ones and wire up the headlights. Probably going to need a few tools, a good set of wire trimmers, or as the style here, my husband likes here. It actually goes over the wire and then splits out a section out of the middle. So what we can do is we'll actually be able to solder in the wire that goes to the halo and cover it with shrink tubes so we don't have to worry about it getting all gross. So you have your low beams and high beams plugs, and then here you have the LEDs for your halos. So this should wire into your daylight running lamp so that it runs all the time. So your headlights, your halos are on when your key is on. So. And then we'll have to run wires from here up to here so that it can connect into the LEDs for the halos on the back of there. So this is what the back side of the connector underneath the truck looks like. So we'll be taking this connector here and we'll be splicing into these wires and tying that into the halos for the headlights. There we go. Came over here. Hmm? Yep, I got it. All right, now we can trim this uh, cable to length, this is the one that goes up to the headlights, and we can solder it in place, and we'll be good to go.
Thanks everybody for checking out this video installing the headlights in my wife's avalanche. Feel free to like, subscribe, and check out these videos for some other clips that you guys might enjoy.